In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the CR7 Chop. <laughs> to see how one of the goats of the world performs the heel chop, and hopefully also take a few notes so you can get to master the heel chop down the line. In other words, it's gonna be chops galore today. Hiya! But before we head to the pitch, let's take a step back and try to decipher what CR7 actually does with his body when he performs the heel chop, because while I am by no means as good as him, duh, we can still take a look at how his body moves and what he does when he's chopping in matches. And checking out the footage here, I've kind of narrowed it down to two main chop variations. There's a more powerful and aggressive one, which CR7 uses to change direction sharply, especially when he's running at full speed. And then there's another softer one where he mostly dampens the ball to gently change direction and keep the ball close to his body to maintain a higher level of control. Now we can also often see that CL7 uses this when the defender is on his side or slightly behind him and has a forward going momentum, AKA he's running forward because then the chop can go behind him and he'll need time to slow down and turn at which point CR7 is gonna be at least two steps ahead of him. And as a defender, that spells trouble. Now, when you get to the pitch, you want to get the technique right before you start applying it in matches in order not to fail and look ridiculous. And actually, the technique and the movement itself is the same for both variations of the chop that I just described. And no matter what, also, it's a good idea to have some sort of forward momentum and run at speed, because that way it's a lot easier to pull off. Now let's say I want to chop to my left, in which case I'm gonna need my right foot. And here you wanna start off with jumping with both feet. And you swing your non-chopping leg forward. In the same motion though, you also take the inside of your chopping foot and you place it coming from the outside in very close to the side of the ball, as if you want to chop off the very edge off the ball just before you plant your foot. Now, if you go for the powerful chop, you will need to really tighten up those thigh muscles and then have a very strong and powerful planting off your foot. Whereas you can be a little bit more gentle and simply tap the ball if you go for the more controlled chop. And after that, you simply want to focus on having the non-chopping foot planted so that it kind of points in the direction you want the chop to go, because then you can use your momentum to accelerate off of that foot and make everything more smooth. And after that, it's all about working on getting your angles right and finding out when to actually use this in a match. So this was a lot of do's, but there is also, of course, a don't. Because what you want to try to avoid is to use your heel when you do the chop. You can, of course, use the inside part of your heel. That's gonna work pretty well. But try to avoid the ball or the end point of your heel because it's gonna make the chop a lot harder to control. And the risk of losing the ball is gonna skyrocket. And you don't want that to happen. And speaking of losing the ball, also try to avoid to use the chop unless the situation kinda calls for it. Because if you screw up and lose the ball, you're gonna look absolutely ridiculous and make a meal of the situation. So to practice this, you can set up a few little drills that is gonna help you with the chop. Of course, you want to start off slow, then you can just do the control chop and that's gonna be it. You can speed it up a little bit, still doing the control chop, just to get a bit more of a game situation experience. And finally, you can of course end up going at full speed over a few meters and then doing the powerful chop with a good long hard chop at the end of it. You can also try and do a chop round one obstacle and then changing direction before you meet the next obstacle. And actually, the more situations you can put yourself in, the more natural it's gonna come to you to figure out how, and especially when, to do the heel chop. So practice, rinse, and repeat. Five star entertainment here. Did we just see that? There's Ronaldo. So there you have it, my friends, a better look at the heel chop. And while CR7 is by no means the only guy doing this, it is a bit of an iconic move for him. And hopefully these were some good guidelines on how you can actually go and learn it. Just remember to practice repeat and then practice some more. But what should we teach you next? You should let us know in the comment section right down below. 
And of course, also, if you want to get CR7's beautiful Superfly 6 signature colorway, you can buy them from our store from the link right over there. Remember also, if you're new to the channel, go subscribe and turn on the notifications to not miss a single of our awesome videos. And finally, you should go learn the amazing Marcelo Flick by clicking right down there. With that said, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.